Right, so apologies for the noise. Two things. One, the milling machine, which I can stop. The other is the rain, which I can't stop. I think it's... Oh. <laughs> right, so... What happened there... Um, I didn't have the workpiece clamped down enough. I don't know if you can see it. So I hadn't clamped the workpiece, the, the card holder which we're doing. So the other half of this didn't have that clamped down enough. Um, so we'll have to tighten in the vise and redo this again. Hopefully it's not damaged. Uh, yes. Just touch probing um, that second, uh, the second operation on on this. So what I did was it was down that way on the other one. It was down that way initially. Machined round the outside. So now just flipping it over, doing a touch probe on it, gonna machine the top part, and so that other one should look something like this. Once you've done that, what I'm gonna do is. Basically all that needs to be done is, is a bevel put around down the edge. So I'm going to put this blank in the machine. And I'm going to do a practice bevel on this blank. And if that works okay, then I'm going to bevel this one, then that one. And that should be almost done. I think I might engrave it as well. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. And yeah, get it, getting close. It's a little bit of a side project. Um, if you watched yesterday's video, uh, sorry, day before yesterday, I took my son uh, up to uh, the station back home for the weekend. We played around with a radio controlled car. What I thought I would do is, you see this bit right at the back here, those two bits sticking out. Well, that's where the sort of wing goes, like there's a cover to go on it and then a wing. But I thought it would be pretty cool to mount a GoPro camera on it. So I've just done this. That there is basically a, a mount plate. I'll cut that out of titanium on the water jet cutter. Should fix on there, no problem. Be able to put the GoPro straight on it and, you know, just record the car spinning around. Uh, it's just one of those things. It's just one of those big kid things to do. So uh, yeah, two projects going on. No stopping me today. So that there is uh, a blank. I've put the main two pieces here. The sides are done. There's steps in them. It's not that great to be honest, but like for a first attempt, I'm more than happy with it. What I'll do is I'll you know do a bit of hand sanding on it, and then tumble it, and it'll be it'll be ready. This is the blank in here now. What I'm going to do is just test bevel. I've not beveled before, so I just want to do a nice round bevel around the outside of that. If it works on that, we will do it on this one and this one and that will be hopefully the card holder ready pretty much. Right, so just cut this on the water jet cutter. So what's going to happen with this is we take a look here. Um, da, 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 da. Try and find somewhere to put this. Uh, on the floor I think. So I'll show you this. So 
So this should just fit on there like that. And then I'll be able to mount the GoPro there and I'll sort of look out the front of the car. That's the plan anyway. It's not complex, should work okay. What we've just done on the mill is this. So, take a look at this. I'd like to say I got it spot on first time, but there was loads and loads and loads of trial and error. It's okay. Um, this is still the blank, by the way, so it's just a big chunk of titanium. It was a little bit like that, I think. It was tilted just slightly, and so one part of it, one corner, has a bit of an edge, but um, that's okay for this piece and probably okay for that. I'm not like, I'm more in the mood that I, I need to get it done um, rather than trying to perfect it. The reason for that is it's, I'm making this card, card holder, I think I mentioned it as a gift for someone, um, whilst simultaneously learning the milling machine. So I think that's good enough though. Like I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna have to sand the sides anyway, sand around the edges and you know, the whole thing's gonna get tumbled. So, you know, I think that's good enough that I can put the, the two sides of the actual card holder in now. Well, that worked pretty damn well. <laughs> um, I'm sure my son this weekend will have a, a whale of a time recording his. Actually, you know what? He won't even care. He just wants to drive the car. Right, so that is both sides done. It actually lined up pretty well. Um, the beveling worked pretty damn good. There's just a, a, a little step on sort of one of the sides on both of them. So each, each of the same sides have the same step. I don't know if it was like an X axis offset or something, I'm not sure. But if you take a look at that, you can actually see it up at the end here you should be able to see that little step just just there. You see it? Yeah, there we go. You can see it. That should be perfectly smooth on the end there, but there's a step. Now, there's loads of lines there. You can you can see that. There's there's just so many lines, lines and steps really. But that's, you know, it's just with flipping it over, touch probing it, 
machining round, you know, not machining round in one one full length of it, that's fine. I mean, I'm going to be I'm going to be sanding the flats, the bevels, the edges, just just everything. It's going to be you know nice and sanded. Then I'm going to tumble it, and then it'll be it will be done. But what a massive difference! Um, the beveling makes to the whole thing. It's just it just feels so good now. So that's pretty much all I have to do on it right now. I think I'm gonna experiment with that other blank and try a bit of engraving because like I said it's a gift for a friend so I'm gonna try and engrave it. I don't know if I can actually do it but um, yeah my, my first product on the milling machine kind of pretty damn over the top excited about it. A um, little bit apprehensive of, of screwing it up. You know, all the work that's gone into this so far, can I don't want to screw it up down the line kind of thing. So, you know, with tumbling or sanding or something. So, but we should be all good. So after, can you, yeah, can you just give me a two seconds, I'll, well, one minute. So I have engraved this, but what I'm gonna show you instead is all the failed attempts. So, um, here we go. So about one, two, three, four, five, six attempts. So five attempts and then the fifth one I got it right. This is just a blank of course and this is it on the actual card holder. Right there. And that's pretty much it. I will almost certainly try sanding it on the way home. I uh, won't video that though. But tomorrow should hopefully have something for you. Um, I think I will leave it at that. I will of course leave you with a quote. It is by John Milton and he said, luck is the residue of design.